What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here with you episode 118 of the Portfolio Update. So hopefully you guys are doing awesome, hopefully you guys are staying strong. I know the market has been red and uh, there's been a lot of panic selling and uh, this is actually a great thing for us because uh, it is creating a lot of discounts for some really great companies for the long term. Uh, but anyways, uh, I do have a qu quite a couple things I do want to cover in this update. Uh, first thing is I'm going to go over the portfolio, how it's doing. As you obviously see that the portfolio is in the 194,000. We were up in around the 200,000. So uh, we have been dropping. I believe we've dropped about uh, from the highest that we've dropped. It's been about $23,000, $22,000 uh, in the portfolio. All of this is unrealized gains, guys. We still own the same number of shares of these awesome, great long-term companies. It's just that we're getting a great discount to uh, actually buy more shares. Uh, over the long term, they're going to appreciate even more because they're solid companies. Uh, but anyways, I will be showing you how the portfolio is doing. So I'll show you all the activities on what I bought, what I sold, any dividends that came in. And then uh, from there, I will talk to you guys a little bit about a stock market correction we'll look into the definition and i will show you a little bit uh on the charts and then i will show you a couple companies i am eyeballing uh for next week as well if the market continues to uh trend downwards uh which companies i can i will continue to buy and uh you know these are for the long term and the reasons why i plan to do this so a little bit of technical analysis i'm trying to get better at this and uh so far it has been paying off a little bit uh, but anyways i will show you that as well remember that every week we do dollar cost average into the portfolio no matter what the market is doing so uh, we have been seeing uh you know the portfolio go upwards uh, and the main goal is because we are trying to uh, grow this uh, value so the yearly uh, pro uh, projected uh, dividends that we get uh, we are going to get three thousand dollars in 60 uh well, i guess three thousand and sixty dollars uh so that is what our projection is by the end of this video it's going to be much higher because this previous week we contributed money uh, so we should see this grow no matter what the market went down right we went up i guess we went down twenty three thousand dollars uh this projection is going to go up by the end of the video so you'll see and that is the one of the best things about dividend growth investing no matter what the market is doing the portfolio is just generating this income and uh the beauty about it is that uh you know the market could be going up down and then uh, trading sideways and uh, you know the long-term goal is because we're going to be eventually living off of these dividends and uh, we don't have to sell any of our shares from these awesome companies uh, as you'll see if we look real quick quarterly dividends uh, we finished up the year of 2021 uh, pretty awesome uh, you'll see quarterly dividends continue to grow and grow and uh, hopefully the, this 2022 we should see uh, that uh, growth uh, continue forward and as well as the annual dividends uh, you will see that uh, they will continue to grow uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, reach four thousand dollars in projected annual dividends by the end of the year but we will see how that plays out uh, we will continue to dollar cost average but uh, anyways, I will go ahead and uh, jump over to M1. Actually, one thing real quick. If you guys did miss my previous update, I did uh, end up releasing a new version of the dividend uh, script, which will project your dividend yield and your yield on cost. So if you guys didn't get that notification, be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification on it. It will notify you when I upload new videos. And while you're down there, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up on the video. It helps out the channel. That is all I ask in return uh, for these updates as well for all the you know scripts that I provide for free. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump over here to M1 and uh, I will show you guys how the portfolio is doing. So uh, it is at $194,435.46. Uh, uh, we are, well, I guess we have about $100 in cash balance. So these will get reinvested on Monday. I'm really hoping that the market continues to go down even more because, you know, these $100 will get reinvested much uh I guess they have a higher buying power because we will get more uh you know shares of the a company that we reinvest this into so that is actually a good thing to uh, have read 
for the year uh, well, I guess not for the year but just for the week when I reinvest this so I don't mind if we drop more uh, but anyways if we look at the overall market uh, we are still up you'll see this big drop here which is uh, the correction kind of we're not technically in a correction yet, uh, which I will show you the definition of a correction, uh, which is about 10% or uh, lower. But if we look at, uh, actually, let's look at the one day. So one day, there's not enough data, but you'll see here that uh, we are down about $3,505, which is about 1.77%. If we look at the week, we actually went down about 13,000, which is about 6.33%. And then if we look at the month, uh, we actually have gone down all the way from about 217,000, which I guess it probably calculates it from here, 212,000, all the way down to the 194,000, which is about 7.52% uh, uh, drop in the portfolio. And if we look at the one quarter, uh, we've actually just slightly lost all our gains for the past three months from October. Uh, we've actually just dropped about 1.76 percent uh, so uh, that kind of sucks but I uh, remember our dividend actually grew and uh, that's the main thing we focus on uh, because that is what we're gonna eventually retire off of if we look at the one year we're actually up 22.53 percent which is about 34,000 almost $35,000 uh, so you see that uh, we have been seeing those little drops and ups and downs but over the long term we have been seeing this grow which is right now this drop right here is a great buying opportunity for us which i will be doing next week hopefully we drop more uh, if we look at the overall year we are up 77.14 percent well, i guess 77.14 percent which is about 77,000. And uh, you'll see over the long term, it's uh, growing. Uh, you'll see right here, this is the 2020 crash of March, I guess March of 2020, which uh, the market crashed and uh, it actually looks like a little dip, which is kind of what this is gonna look like. Uh, we're gonna continue to uh, dollar cost average. And uh, if we see more red, I will buy more than just dollar cost average. I will continue to add more money into the portfolio because over the long term you'll see this trend is going upwards and that is what we uh, are going to be doing for us long term uh, dividend growth investors uh, but anyways let's go ahead and jump over here to the activities guys and uh, I will show you guys everything I did for this week which was actually not really much I keep wanting to put uh, 2021. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have uh, always put 2021 still. You guys are still in that mode. Uh, I also have been doing that when I sign papers. But um, anyways, uh, you'll see that on the 18th, guys, we actually did three buys, three, $33.86. Uh, so this was from dividends that uh, we got and uh, they got reinvested. So Realty Income, Legged and Platt, American Tower. So uh, January has been pretty great so far with dividends. On the 20th, we actually deposited $100 and uh, we actually reinvested it. We did one buy and can you guys guess it? We bought uh, Target. So Target, we almost bought half a share of Target at about $227 which uh, target has been going down which is uh, actually pretty exciting because we will uh, actually buy more this coming week and then you guys were awesome uh, on january 21st you guys uh, i ended up getting two referral signups uh, so thank you so much for whoever signed up uh, m1 is running a promotion uh, they were it was actually supposed to end on the end of december of this past year uh, but for some reason they actually extended it all the way till March but anyways if you sign up with my referral link which is in the video description all you have to do is open up an account uh, deposit $100 and you will get $50 uh, that is a 50% return on your money uh, and uh, I will get 50% uh, I guess $50 as well which is pretty awesome but anyways those 50 dollars are worth way more right now especially that the market is red because you will be able to buy even more shares but anyways if you guys are interested in signing up definitely use my referral link i will be very appreciated and uh, thank you so much uh, for everybody that signed up uh, but anyways i will be using these 100 dollars to uh, actually buy some more target and maybe a couple other companies which uh, actually uh, is a great opportunity to jump over to that 
but real quick just because we always do this I will uh, go ahead and uh, show you so calculate dividends is a script I wrote completely free all I ask is that you subscribe with that bell notification and you drop a big thumbs up on the videos because that is all I ask in return. Uh, remember, I provide all these scripts for free. Uh, but anyways, it'll calculate all the dividends we got for this week. Uh, obviously, we didn't get any, but you should see a zero. So let's go, go ahead and click calculate. And uh, we got zero dividends. But uh, hopefully, uh, I believe next next week we should get some dividends. Let me actually pull it up and I will show you guys. Uh, so dividend payout, if we look at it, JP Morgan is expected to pay on the 31st of January and that will close uh, actually January for us on the dividends. So this dividend will be amazing. It'll be huge. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. But overall, guys, uh, we got zero dividends, but, uh, you know, they, when we do get them, they will get reinvested and uh, buy more shares, especially hopefully I'm hoping that we're still in the red by then because I would prefer for them to get reinvested. Then if we look at the holdings overall, uh, we are uh, about 63% uh, in capital uh, unrealized gains, uh, you know, and the one thing I want to actually point out real quick, unrealized gains, if we actually uh, filter out by unrealized gains, uh, you'll see that uh, if we look, we're currently buying, building our position with Target and uh, the one we were buying a couple months ago was Lockheed Martin, which we're finally in the positive. We're 3.3% up and uh, we have about 30 shares, which is about $11,000 that we have invested. Uh, cross space is about $359. And if we look at Lockheed Martin, it's currently trading about 371. Uh, so I have stopped buying Lockheed Martin. We were buying it back in the 330s and uh, you know, dollar cost average uh, actually pays off in uh, some great long-term companies. Obviously, if it goes down more, we will start buying more. Uh, but uh, for right now, I am gonna try to build my position in uh, Target, uh, which is one of the ones that I have about uh, seven shares almost, which I think is pretty good for uh, us starting it in, uh, I think December is when I started the position. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, actually show you a couple things about the stock market correction real quick. Uh, so if we look, uh, we will see what is a correction. Investing a correction is a decline of 10% or more in the price of a security from its most recent peak. Corrections can happen to individual assets like an individual stock or bonds or to an index measuring a group of assets. Uh, and an asset index or mar market may fall into a correction either briefly or for sustained uh, periods, days, weeks, months, or even longer. However, the average uh, market correction is short-lived and lasts anywhere between three and four months. Uh, so typically this is a really great opportunity to uh, put some more money into the market uh, in dollar cost average and uh, buy the red guys, which is kind of what we're seeing. We're not technically still in a correction yet because I uh, remember that a correction is 10% or greater. Uh, I will show you guys the charts and I'll show you how much we've dropped so far. Uh, but here is a couple things. Uh, a correction is a decline of 10% or greater in the price of a security asset or a financial market. And then remember, corrections can last anywhere from between days or months or even longer. Uh, while damaging in the short term, a correction can be positive, adjusting overvalued asset prices and providing buying opportunities. Uh, this is the main important thing we want to do, buying opportunities. Uh, and if I, real quick, I want to show you uh, one thing, if I can find it. Uh, so here, here are the pros and cons, creating buying opportunities into high valued uh, stocks can be mitigated by stop loss limit orders calm over inflated markets can lead to panic or overselling we are definitely not this type of investor we are actually buying harms uh, short-term investors uh, leveraged traders which is none of us we are none of that can turn into a prolonged decline so that is actually pretty great guys that's what i wanted to show you with a stock market correction uh you know these are actually healthy for the market in the long term because we do uh you know are able to actually do 
some more buying uh much heavier which is something that i've been uh, i am going to do and uh, i will continue to do uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to TradingView, which is an account that you can open for free. Uh, I do have Open Spy, which is uh, it tracks the S&P 500. Uh, so if you'll see these lines here, the white line is our uh, 21 EMA, and then if we look at the orange uh, line, orange brownish line, uh, that is our 50-day uh, simple moving average, and then uh, the yellow one is our 100 and then the green one is our 200 and then uh, this purple looking one is our 300 uh, moving average uh, so if i quickly show you uh, you'll see that uh, 200 and 300 for us long-term investors is usually a good sign because uh, that is what the market would follow so uh, you'll see that uh, over the long term actually if i zoom out you'll see that uh, it trades right above the 300 and 200 day uh, moving average so for us guys I will show you how much we've actually dropped so if I look over here for the measurements from the top and we drop all the way to where it's dropped here you'll see that we've actually dropped about 8% or so so we have about 2% more to go before it's uh, officially considered a stock market correction so we're definitely not there yet but over the long term, we so you see that we've actually passed the 200-day uh, moving average. Uh, we will see if we even hit the 300 moving average. And my opportunity, I am going to be buying. Uh, if I look actually at my stocks that I'm going to invest, is one of the ones is Target, guys. So Target is going to be the next company that I will continue to buy, and. Uh, if we look at the the trades here, you'll see it on the, it's actually past the 300 day moving average. It's actually gone below it, which for me, that is a great opportunity because I will continue to buy more shares. And that's just a great opportunity for technical analysis. If you'll see over the long term, uh, you'll see that uh, here is March 2020 hit the 300 day moving average. And then uh, again, and it continues to follow it. Eventually, uh, we will rebound and grow, go higher. Uh, but uh, for us, dividend investors, we don't really care about capital appreciation, but that's a great thing to do, especially because uh, we are going to get dividends and uh, this will continue to grow over time. And I'm just going to be using this opportunity to buy more of a Target. The other one I have been uh, looking at is JP Morgan. JP Morgan has dropped all the way from the top. So if we look at this uh, right here, it's dropped about 14%. Uh, uh, it was trading about $168 ish dollars. Now it's trading about $144, $145. Uh, so this is another company I might start buying into it. You'll see it's way past the 300 days uh, moving average. Uh, and you know i will buy jp morgan so i'm keeping an eye on this uh and the last one i am watching here for us is visa so visa is way past the 300 day moving average and you'll see that uh, it's actually dropped quite a bit now it's uh trading around uh 205 and it's actually dropped all the way from the high if we look at the measurements 17% or so that was back when that was back in uh, July of 2021 uh, so uh, Visa I'm gonna continue to uh, keep an eye out if it drops to the 195 ish I will probably start a position well I guess not start a position but add more to the position uh, but uh, let me know what companies you guys are uh, actually buying in this uh, declining market right now I will be very interested in seeing that way i can also uh, keep an eye on those and uh, see if i want to start a position or add more guys be sure to drop a comment on that but anyways let's go ahead and uh, actually finish the video by kicking off the scripts and uh, seeing how much our dividend growth uh, actually grew this uh, past week so let's go ahead and jump over there guys all right guys so i'm here at the google sheets uh under the dividend payout and uh 
if I uh, actually go ahead and show you, this is all scripts that I do have. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off because uh, I did sell out of Clorox, so this shouldn't show up anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go here to Portfolio Tools, get latest dividends. This should take a minute or two. Again, I do have all these scripts for free. All I ask in return is that you subscribe with that bell notification and drop a big thumbs up on the videos. Uh, but uh, it looks like it's running now, guys. And uh, you'll see now that everything is updated. So we have JP Morgan on the 31st of January. Then we're going to start off uh, February strong with uh, APD, which is actually a company that should be uh, declaring a dividend raise uh, this coming week, uh, especially in this red market. So that is one other thing that's pretty amazing about dividend growth investing. And then we got Abby on the 20, I guess, uh, February 15th with a dividend raise and uh, they will be paying out Procter & Gamble, Realty Income, Caterpillar, uh, and then Costco. And then we're gonna end it strong with uh, Starbucks. So that'll be pretty awesome, guys. But uh, now, let's go ahead and jump over here to settings, guys. And I will actually delete the latest copy of our portfolio. We gotta jump over to Personal Capital so that we can grab the latest one for this past week. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so I'm here on uh, personal capital under the M1 account. You see this green button. All it does is it'll copy the content of my portfolio into the clipboard. So then we can jump over and then uh, right click, pay special values only. And then uh, from here, I will uh, go ahead and we are ready to kick off the scripts. But real quick, I want to jump over to the dashboard. Make sure we have everything up to date. Uh, we copied everything. Just to be safe, I will go ahead and uh, actually make a copy and paste it. But now we can actually jump over here to holdings. And uh, what this is going to do, when we, whenever we kick it off, it'll wipe everything and uh, reuse the new thing that we just pasted in the settings. So portfolio tools, update portfolio holdings. Remember, all these scripts are free. Uh, check out the video description for them. Uh, update portfolio holdings. This will get wiped. Now it's calculating everything. And we are going to jump over to the dashboard and see everything grow. So, awesome guys. So, for the projected dividend yield, you'll see that uh, actually the dividend yield even went up higher. And that is because uh, it actually went up from 4. Uh, I guess 1.47% to 1.57% and the reason is because this is actually going to grow if the market continues to go down if the portfolio continues to go down the dividend yield goes higher and uh, that means that it's a great opportunity to buy more uh, that is for dividend investing uh, yield on cost is still the same uh, yearly we went up about three dollars and then for the month we went up about uh, what is it 24 cents for the week we went up about uh, six cents and then uh, for the day, we went actually one up one penny. Hourly still the same, 35 cents every hour. And then uh, hourly work wage, we're still making about a dollar 47 cents per hour. This is if our portfolio was to go work an hourly hourly work week of uh, 40, I guess 40 week, 40 hours. Uh, they would get paid a rate of a dollar 47. Uh, we're gonna eventually try to get this to minimum wage. Uh, we will see how long that takes, but that is a pretty awesome goal to have. But uh, anyways, guys, this is all I have for you. If you stuck all the way to the very end, be sure that you subscribe with that notification. If you haven't done so already as well, drop a big thumbs up on the video. And uh, let me know that you stuck all the way by dropping a hashtag dip. Because remember, we are going to be behind the dip. And, uh, you know, red is awesome for us. Uh, but anyways, don't panic. Continue to buy and uh, dollar cost average and uh, over the long term we should make more money uh, but anyways I will see you guys in the next video take care stay safe out there bye guys <laughs>